All right, guys, it's time to get back into it. Aloha! Today we are going to be doing primarily some exploration around Guy's Garden, cleaning up as many chests as I can Yay. after doing uh, one of the dungeons that lets you do that. I am eating again, as always, so, you know. So let's just start into it. We got so lots to get talking. to as usual. So, uh, first we got a few things to clean up here. Wait! Wait. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Santa hat? What are you talking Hadn't... about? <laughs> Why is she wearing a Santa hat? I don't understand the question. Oh, come on! <laughs> Santa hat! Okay. Did you finish the holiday thing? Okay, so yes, there has been an update. Uh, Lampshaded. <laughs> that, uh, that quest is fixed. I didn't want to waste a bunch of time going back and dealing with that. Uh, so I just went ahead and grabbed that in advance. Yay! I still love that, like, whenever, because you played this game with her wearing the Santa hat, like, ever yep. since you actually did it the first time it came out. Mm -hmm. So you'll be fighting these crazy boss battles with her dressed up with, like, cute little girl Santa. It's hilarious. Yeah. But, first we need to talk to Henry. How? Oh, it's you! He just you. said, I wonder if she'll turn up again! <laughs> he oh. just said that in his flavor jet! Yes, he did. <laughs> At this point, someone might think you're stalking me. <laughs> it has been a while. As usual, you came at just funny. the right moment. <laughs> Another player has just placed a probe somewhere in this jungle. Even though I had some problems earlier. Eh? D don't worry about it. It was just a misunderstanding. It just means I don't have much time left. So would you be willing to help me survey this area too? Does it mean he's going to die? Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's what that up. means. Oh, hey, we've already collected a bunch of stuff from it. That's good. We need a venom tree. Uh, yep, we haven't been to that part of the jungle yet. Oh, you're gonna Kill do animals. Do you want to find out what the deal is? Um, later. Uh, Once like this episode later? No, no. Uh. We're going to have to get the Sapphire Ridge before that. Oh, gee, you're stringing us along. This is the longest quest in the game. Oh, that explains it. Thank you. This will be the last time I promise... D don't have any probes left, but I guess you know how they look. Hmm. By now, I would hope. So. By now, I would hope so. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I was going to do was go back to Baki Kum really quickly, just to remind you guys to check in on this. Uh, because a while ago, you might have remembered we got a notification that we got 50% of these. Hey! Howdy, girl! Ooh! She's got new art! I love her new art. She has purple hair. Adorable. Well, I think it's brown, but, you know, they, they do kind of a purple, a purple shading sheen, thing. Yeah. yeah. She's got some purple shading. Yeah. Hi! I found a way to add some spice to the hat I gave you. Y'all ready for an upgrade? Mm. Here y'all go! I guess you should say yeah, but whatever, I don't care. But you're in better, just like that. I wish you could wear it. Ooh. I'll see y'all in the fields. Until next time. <gasps> Bye. Kill. Cool. Like Alright. So, then, if you'll recall, we had gotten a D-Link from Citron. Asking oh. us if we wanted to go, uh, you know, do a dungeon with him. That sounds about right. So, let's continue with that. Is this story or is This it... is story. Okay. Hello, Leah. Hi. It's good to see you again. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, then, the temple should be just north of here. Uh, but before we go there, uh, let's just wait for a moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she runs away, all. Bonjour, Tony. Uh, hello? So, what did my imagination do? I just thought a certain horned girl. Uh, come on, Leah, don't hide. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> Why is she here? Oh, my accent's Well, terrible. I invited both of you, see? I heard that things have been somewhat complicated between you two. Ever since the raid. Oh, Leah, you could say that again. Mm. I'm still going to cancel it. Then Leah had been gone for so long, and now she's acting all splendid. Yes, I've heard as much. It's all just inherently difficult, you know, since Leah can't talk and explain herself. But is there really a need to know exactly what happened? Wait, I mean, it would at least help. Oh, bother. Let me just try and ask Leah some qu a couple of questions, okay? I love Tronny! Sure, give it your best shot. I love okay, him. Okay, Leah, first of all, did you intentionally lead the raid? Was it something you wanted to do? 
Was it some kind of accident or something else outside of your control? Mm. And when we couldn't reach you for a week, was that intentional? Mm -mm. So, in short, all these things that happened are not something you wanted to happen. Is that correct? Mm. Well, you see? So what about the whole thing with Lucas? What was that about? <sighs> Emily, please, I'm sure this is even more difficult to answer. Instead, let me ask the most important question. Uh, Leah, over all this time, did you miss us? And now, do you want to play with us again? Oh my god. Leah! Hey, isn't that all that matters? <laughs> Good to have you back, Leah. Finally back together. Hi. And just the time for the dungeon race, no? Uh, that's right. We've all finished the mandatory quest, so we're good to go. Mm. Oh. Perfect, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we waiting for? Let's go. Mm. <laughs> uh, wait. Did you just reconcile with Emily and Citron again? Mm. Oh. Did we just become best friends again? Yes. Yeah. That was quicker than I expected. <laughs> well, it uh, might be a bit late, but anyway, mm -hmm. here is a new word for you, finally. Oh! <sighs> Sorry. Well, I thought it might have helped. <laughs> Sorry? Yes, I know it is too late now. Sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. I think that's the first time I've heard you say that. I mean, sorry. You're right. What's the way to apologize now, mademoiselle? Sorry. Haha, <laughs> pas de problème. Come on, let's not waste any more time. Hmm. Yeah, see, that would be dangerous giving me that word, because I over-apologize <laughs> all the time. So, yeah. Indeed. <laughs> sorry. I got some food in my mouth. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Famous dungeon crossing. What is my accent? So which dungeon is that? I think that's up to us. There are two temples we have to complete first in any order. The Sonaja's Temple in the west, and the Zervatar Temple in the east. You say those really well. It's like Bible names. <laughs> it's like, what? Once we've completed both, we can enter the Grand Quiscajo to the north. Oh my gosh, well done. Mon dieu, that's a lot of dungeons. Hmm. Well, we don't have to do them all at once. We have, I'd like to finish at least one of them today. Well, that sounds reasonable. Oh, right, what about you, Leah? Are you ready to dive right into dungeon crawling? <laughs> if you like, you can take a stroll to the dungeon first. I'm getting some, some more carrots. <laughs> That's fun. Well, yeah, we could do that. We'll leave it up to you, Leah. Of course. But of course, no one's really dungeon without us. <laughs> Indeed, but we are going to get started uh, over here. Okay. I'm actually going to uh, show you how this hat works. It's over here in your add-ons, like the mind detector. You can just turn it off like that. Oh. Um, which I will do, because you might have noticed during the cutscene, not all of Leah's poses work with it. <laughs> so it ends up being a little weird. Oh my gosh. Uh, matter uh, of fact scientist lady. Well, well, you certainly match the description. Right? Are you not the seeker who solved the problem with the shad? Uh, mm. Ah, so my calculations were indeed correct, as always. Anyway, your help has been very much, very much appreciated. <laughs> appreciated. Uh, my name is Dr. Lucretia. Ha <laughs> ha. Leah. Of course, the shadow a tad up. Off. 
Oh, my goodness. Of course, the shatter tied off in their thesis that the power plant is the root cause for this strange infestation. I would know. It's my obligation to make sure of it. Huh? There's no leakage, no parameters off the expected spectrum. From the track's perspective, the plant miners will not be there. Obviously, something else must be causing this. I'm not sure what exactly, but I will continue to investigate. Uh, well, I'm sure you're good into the temple, so I won't distract you any further. Good luck, and if there's anything you'd like to know, feel free to drop by in my office. It's in that building to the left. Ooh, fancy. Until then, Seeker. Bye. Well, so she's like, hey, sound good. Yeah, so Checking she has on a little the power office plant. in here. We're not going to bother with that right now. It's not that important at the moment. I like these glowy plants. Here we are, the Zervatar dungeon. Such a gloomy atmosphere. Well, we're at the border of the infested jungle. Oh, right. The infestation comes from the power plant here. Well, that's what the Shad believe, anyway. Hmm. I think we have a well prepared, no? Ready to start the race of the Zervatar temple? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okie dokie. Everybody get ready! Are there bugs here? There aren't. There not, aren't? Not in the jungle. Don't get ready! Good luck, everyone! <laughs> mm, you don't mm. have to wish me luck, just run slow and I'll be happy! I won't give you that luxury. Mm. So. Sorry, I told you. Yeah. Very hungry. We have our entry room, as usual. These dungeons, by the way, are quite a bit shorter. They're about half the length of the Bergen Mine and Concrete Temple. So, right off the bat, you're going to notice this fun little mechanic Ooh. with uh, wave teleporty balls. So we're going to have to do a lot of thinking with portals, so oh. to speak. You're not thinking with portals. Well, you are. I think so. When we played portal together, I would always say that. Yeah. Not quite. And so these guys have this lock-on attack that you need to get around by using these guys to teleport. They'll also kind of zoom up like this. I like the question marks. That's confusing. Gotcha. Simple enough. So then we've got this fun little bounciness. Let's that guy a little bit. So hit that switch, shoot through this real quickly. Come on over here. Make our way down here. And then this mechanic is super fun, where you've got these little compressed things. Uh, Right now, this is, you know, pretty unimpressive. We're taking this wave energy and getting rid of the shock energy with it, but then we start doing this kind of fun stuff. Where it goes through walls, like so. Mm -hmm. And the main mechanic here is when I shoot this into something, it's going to proceed directly into the wall. Mm -hmm. So if I do it right here, it's going to go through this way, and then through this way, and hit that. It's kind of it's kind of confusing at first. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Bolsha! So, I was wondering, is this temple a wave or shock dungeon? Hmm? Oh, I think it's shock. I mean, there's electricity all over the place, enemies shoot lightning bolts and all that. I think it's wave because you use the wave element, you know? Because weird boss guys use the walls are wave, right? Hmm. Uh, I think so, yes. But you always get the yellow and opposite to the dungeon's theme. Like getting heat in the Temple Mine, which is all cold and frozen. I wouldn't call Fadro Temple the cold dungeon because you get cold. What? I saw Fadro was the cold dungeon. That place is literally filled with ovens and heated coals. How can you call it the cold temple? I guess the cold element in the concept to make it cold is the cold dungeon. Makes perfect sense to me. Ah, oh, gosh. Whatever. Labels. <laughs> Let's just race on. <laughs> that's almost... That's kind of a lampshade of um, people's... Interactions with the game. Lamp shape. I think that's the word here. Come on over here, guys. I'm gonna get 
something to drink. Do you want me to bring you something? Uh, yeah, bring me, uh, bring me one of those pumpkin ales. Sounds good. Mm. I can, uh, kind of narrate this myself while you're doing that. So, yeah, um, the little mechanical things are weak to ice. The plants are always weak to fire, just until you get the, uh, element out of this temple. So, use that to your advantage. Have a little bit more bouncing puzzles right here. And then shoot it back this way. Go all the way down through that. And this is a fun little dealie right here. And we're going to do this three times with three different elements. And then... So. And from here you have a choice. Um, you've got to go on both paths. So we'll just go up first. We have a big puzzly looking room right there. And then we've got some pop up -outs. on ourselves by doing that, uh, but what this allows us to do now is come up here and use it, like so. But first, we have some cats. Again, stay on your toes. Um, right now, the combat's not really too difficult. It's just there to provide some interesting flavor to this. It's zigzagging across. I really love the wave mechanic. It's got a lot of just interesting mechanics to it. Okay, so here we have this room. First time you encounter this, uh, it may be hard to figure out. They've actually added arrows to kind of help you out with this. But we basically need to set these up in such a way that they direct the wave ball where we need it to go. So, again, they're going to enter the surface, and you can kind of follow the lines on the floor to figure out where things need to be placed. Um, they're going to enter the straight surface and go directly through it when it hits. Uh, so this actually needs to be like that, and like that. And then, we need to get these set up in time. this one first, and then this one, so that they hit at exactly the same time. There's a little bit of tolerance for that, but... So that's that loop, and then we have this you side down designed, here. Really. Yeah, no, this is a beautiful temple. I mean, the dungeon di design in general is just... Oh yeah, definitely. This is really pretty. Alright, let's Two different types of enemies is always a little bit more difficult. Because yeah. you're having to juggle. Because you're having to juggle different abilities and uh, fighting styles. But, yep. still, not too bad. I mean, if anyone's up for it, you <laughs> are. Fair enough. Alright, this is also a really fun mechanic. You've got these blocks, and you can use wave balls to teleport them. Like so, so we create a little path for ourselves here. Take 
tempted to bring in like my shaker and or like move a that right there. instrument to play along with the music. And teleport it phone. down there. I think I, I should bring oh sorry. Actually need to use this thing over here. Um you can set up what you need to do like so. Like that. Um, and then there's actually a really fun trick that you can pull right here. You can totally uh, set this up so that you can jump across it like this and skip a whole section. I'm not going to do that because I need to show you how to do this all properly. But that's one of the few speedrun tricks that is actually really easy to pull off. Um, and you can figure out the rest from what, once you're up here, because you have to do a little bit more stuff since you've sequence broken the thing. Uh, but it totally works. All you need to do to fool them, by the way, is teleport. You don't even need to be out of their line of sight. You just need to break their lock on you. So that moves us through there. And then we have this to open the gate. Uh, this is set up like this. That's right. And then this needs to go this way. So now that we're up here, we've got this little chain like so. This is going to chain all the way down there. And then... Get all the way down to the end. Once we're in here, we can set up this cool little shot. How you doing, honey, now that you're oh, sitting next to me? I'm good. <laughs> I have a crochet. Yeah. You're uh, you're on this track, too. I know. <laughs> okay, now we have a new enemy. I didn't feel like I had a lot to say. So he is going to do this fun little hidey hole thing. Do that to break him out. And then use these guys to your advantage because wave balls are the only way to damage him. Wave balls are the only uh, way to damage him. Uh, oh, yeah. So we got that key. I wanted to say, yeah. part of me was slightly yeah. goofy, but also sort of interested in bringing like, a percussion instrument and just playing it. Oh, for this? <laughs> just playing along. Just after some other convos I had with uh, yeah. Flora. Oh, yeah. That's fun. I don't know what, but it might be fun. Yeah, I don't know how I that would you work. Want me to. Uh, maybe a little distracting right now, but exactly. uh, anyway. So this is a fun little maze. We keep uh, going up and down through this little segment here, and this is where you can. I think I said it. Yeah, I think so. Um, so yeah, you keep going back up and down through these areas, and this is where you can. Ooh, that's not right. You need to do this way. Uh, and then up here, we've actually got this whole wall segment up here that needs to make its way through. So then we get up on that side. So yeah, it's possible to jump up here early and you skip all of that little loop um, and the key here, etc. and so forth. But, you know, for completion's sake, you want to see how to do all of these things. So that's why I'm showing it. Yeah, that's what this video is about. Yes. We show you all the good things. And you can successfully go through all of this. It's like a visual game fact. Yep. And then we're on the other side. We have a quick path to go over the top there now. I feel like I would... Well, I don't mm -hmm. know. Game facts are... They're so useful. I feel like if there's a good thing about searching through it, why you have this great annotation. 
This is like a block of audio. You wouldn't know where to find out what you need to know. All right. Go. Come over here. Simple enough. We're gonna come back for these chests, by the way. Um, right now, we're just trying to get through. Because we can't get those right now. We'll come back. You mean Baki Kun? What? That was really stupid. I, I don't. What? Back. Come back. Come Baki back in ten years. <laughs> oh. There we go, you saved it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. It kind of made sense. Okay, good. Go for it. I'm glad. Ah, those large wave balls. How do they, how do they even work? Does they make my brain hurt? Freaking magnets. How do they work? Yeah, they're strange, but they do make sense if you watch them closely. Wait, don't tell me anymore. I'll figure it out my sense. By the way, I guess you says beachy tone. I think I corrected that. <laughs> Did you already need the, I think the third in the you mean the floaty fog things? Hmm. Like those weird ghosts. Why can't I just punch them? They're ghosts. You don't simply punch ghosts. <laughs> well, that is until we finally get the element of this temple, I suppose. Oh, that's right. I can't wait for that moment. <laughs> so, yeah, we haven't... Stop! I forgot to even mention the thing about finding the sheet on the floor. I yeah. thought I was in a haunted hotel, so I kicked it. <laughs> so yeah, we have another one of these puzzles. Which head do I need? This guy needs to be set up to do both paths, so it has to be in that configuration. Sometimes you get a uh, choice of two with them, so we need to do that. I really love the transparent. And then this side first. And there you go. My French accent goes between French hmm. and German just indiscriminately. Yeah. And so then this is a really fun little puzzle. Because oh. if you hit two of them, you can actually stack them. Isn't that cool? Whoa! So we need to use that mechanic to push a bunch of these guys all over the walls here. Nice. That button needs to be held down. And then you can leap over it like so. Uh, we're going to... This down here. We're gonna move this right there, and then we can set up this path like this, and pull this block over the top. These little tiny things prevent you from moving them around too much. Push that right there, and then we stand right here. A nice little loop like that. Push this all the way over there. Push this off the side. And that gives us access to this right here. Alright. So this room. I remember the first time I did this. Oh? It was hard. It's not hard now. <laughs> um, again, some of that is... So, beginners, you too can conquer this area. Hard why. Uh, well, you know, the enemies are kind of intense. Granted. So, it was just kind of figuring out how to do the patterns with these. Mm -hmm. Come on, attack me. neutral element to cool down a little bit when you can. Alright. Let you 
get that off. All right. So then, final stage. A little bit more of these guys. Well, more of these guys. No, no, this is the same length that it's always been. I think the enemies are a little easier to deal with. Oh, the dungeon is definitely shorter. No, I, I was talking about the gauntlet. Yeah, oh. yeah, this little... Usually after this it would go into another phase or something. I don't have malfunction number in the middle. Yep. It's just there to keep you on your toes so you don't know how many... I like it. It's just over. So you don't know quite how much you've got to deal with. So like and, very yeah, and then these guys will show up. Alright. I want to make sure to get those guys knocked out of the way. There we are. All taken care of. That can be very tough the first time you do it. That's for sure. Yeah, this quest. So we're collecting some stuff. We know one of our materials is elder wood now. Okay. Uh, that's the uh, steak quest. You know the, the girl oh, in Murky Harbor who wants steak. Anyway, hey, it's a new element. Well, which is super exciting. This is wave. wave. That's what we've been using through this whole temple. So okay. that's, you know, it'd be weird to give you the other element right now. I know. We're fighting against it. Mm -hmm. So shock and wave are opposite. Well, because the what part of the point of the temple is is to teach you how right. to use the thing. Exactly. So let's. Uh, uh, I like you, and I like HP Noise. generation. Uh, whoops. Didn't mean to back out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you want to keep that one. I really like HP regen on wave because it gives you a nice way to heal up. I think you know, we'll attack. go to here. Also because I am a melee nut, I like having mm -hmm. my most powerful melee arts. I also like having balance mm -hmm. uh, because it helps prevent cooldown yeah. issues. Let's get a little bit more attack on there. Okay. Uh, that attack, this down the shooter, if I do that, we've got you, and you, and a uh, pin body. Pin body's nice. Okay, yeah, and there's, it's been a while since I've updated my circuit, so let's uh, make sure that we don't neglect that. Good idea. Um... Part of what I want to think about here is where we're going to want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're definitely going to want to be in range of getting that melee art when it's available. Um, is this in range? It is. Let's get that. Yay, in range! Dash arts. In That's in nice. Range, in range, it's in range. And for burn... We are already ready to get that really nice melee. Uh, actually, I don't like that one that much. It's not that interesting to me. Oh. But we can get some balance. And this is a nice dash one down here for later. And... Yeah, yeah we'll do that one. And then the middle one. Uh, what do we want on our middle circuit? Uh, what don't we have? The final showdown is nice. And let's save the rest of those points until we have an extra one. We can get more attack, probably. All right. So that handles circuit upgrades for the moment. Oops, we need to be in wave, because we don't have fun, helpful things for us anymore. We need to do it ourselves. What do you mean? Uh, well, throughout the rest of the temple, they've been providing little points that you can shoot through to give you the wave element on your balls. 
There's no way that I'm going to go in your balls. Now you have to do that yourself. Okay. So, but now we can teleport. And this is what we need to properly explore Gaia's Garden, by the way. Because there are a bunch of those little warp points all over the place, and we need to be able to use them. Um, so, that's what we're doing. Do a little exploration here. Bounce your way over. Uh, before you go do the rest of this, this is a really convenient time to grab that chest. And then come up here, set yourself up, and then shoot it through like this to take you up to the top. It brings you up here. And then this room gets all set up. So this is the bounce puzzle of the Shock Temple. Um, it's mostly about figuring out what the pattern is. So, it starts up here, and you need to be in place to let the ball through in each of these different locations. And you use teleportation to do that. Like so. So it's really simple enough, but um, yeah, getting that set up correctly is important. And now we can use our wave element on these guys. Hello. Get over there. Mark, by the way, does a nice ranged attack thing. Um, you might have seen the status effect on them. It, it basically means that your ranged attacks against something will be much stronger. Okay. Uh, it also makes them glow green. <laughs> well, that's useful. It actually is sometimes. Um, well, you know if you apply it or not, right? Well, yeah, but there are, there are actually instances oh. where I've found it really useful to know when something is a real something. Oh yeah, so here's your boss fight. So, he's gonna do this, but at this point we know how to deal with this kind of nonsense. Take none of it. Yep, we take none of that nonsense. None of your... Whoa, whoa, yep. hey, hey! Avoid that. Oh my gosh. Gotcha, yeah. I love doing that before you can get that off. Gotcha. Okay, we're gonna have to switch off for a second because. Whoa, All right. That's terrifying. All right. Is he throwing magnets at you, technically? Uh, he's throwing little shot balls at you. Oh right, because he's throwing magnets. He needs to throw shot balls. Alright, so now, watch where he sets this up. We need to get up here first, and then we need to shoot it on this side, because you need to follow that path through for this to work. Yeah, wave is a green element, so, easy every time. And shock is purple. Shock is purple, obviously ice is blue, and fire is reddish orange. And that's all of them, uh, right? No, yeah. Am I missing an element? Nope. Oh, four okay. elements. There we go. So there you go. That's the uh, mm -hmm. that's the shock dungeon. Cool. And uh, yeah, we creamed them. <laughs> <laughs> we don't.
all about knowing what to do. Hey, 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 I beat you. Hey, hey. Damn, just a second. Hi. Too bad. I thought I had a pretty good run this time. That boss at the end was pretty neat. Ha <laughs> ha, me juicy Tron. Darn it, last one again. <laughs> and I thought you'd, be, you'd do well since you figured out the puzzle so quickly. Well, I had a pretty hard time the last section. Too many of those enemies. Yeah, that was quite something, wasn't it? I know, the space belt is waiting. <laughs> space belt! Space belt! I love you. This is another girl bird. Girl bird! Girl bird. Oh, do I want me to read it? That's a girl bird. Oh, yeah. A little spark can grant life to any creature of this world. By the way, you... Oh, yeah, I've... Okay, good. Ugh! Oh, yawn! Stop yawning. Okay. Yet a most furious thunder will put those creatures in awe. Among the most fierce of fight what? sorry. Among the most fierce of lightning, you stayed persistent. With calm and calculated waves, you phased through electric discord. You, the traveler, the envoy of change. You have proven yourself worthy. Take this shade, one of a pair, to reach the grand tree. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. That every step form the path of your growth. Cool. Yay. And then of course this guy shows up again. Congratulations, Seeker! You've collected the purple bolt shade, one of the two shades required to enter the Grand Criscoggio. Take this reward for your accomplishments. Good luck and stay vigilant. You betcha. And done. One dungeon completed. Two to go. Mm. Awesome. This place here is pretty nice, don't you think? I'd like to have a small look around before we continue. Sure. So I have to admit, this huge electric stream up here makes me slightly nervous. <laughs> <laughs> electric stream, huh? Yeah, look at this. Ooh. That's right above here. Mm. That's creepy. It all started when Diorbis, the ethereal god of creation, was born into the emptiness of the void. After pondering for eons in solitude, his desire for company gave birth to the gods of shape. Mm -hmm. Quinn is one of these gods, born twin to Goni. She is the god of the Pentagon and the creator of storms and lightning. Ooh, so that's why there are multiple temples, because they're yeah. twins. And the Shad yes. follows the shade. Yeah. What do you know? Quinn is the creator of storms and lightning. Her strong winds keep our world in constant motion. Her fierce thunderstorms are awe-inspiring, sparking curiosity within us. Mm -hmm. Finally, her little sparks also give life to every creature of the world. Goni, the creator of ever-flowing waters and twin brother of Quinn, was busy filling our planet with oceans and lakes. The water overflowing from the lakes was slowly moving down the hills into the ocean. However, the water in the oceans was almost motionless. As Quinn watched these boring, calm waters, she had an idea. She created light winds flying over the ocean, creating an abundance of dancing waves on its surface. At first, Goni did not like this change as he preferred his waters calm and quiet. But as he saw creatures playing with the waves and using the winds to travel across the oceans, he reluctantly agreed to keep it. <laughs> this made Quinn very enthusiastic, so she decided to create stronger and stronger winds, making the waves go higher and higher. This led to the most fearsome storms and tidal waves, flooding vast amounts of land. Goni quickly interfered. Gwyn understood that she had made a terrible mistake. To make it up to her twin brother, she created many creatures to live deep within the waters. Cool. When Diaro and Diorbis witnessed the advancements of our kind, they decided to send the message of the sky wrapped in an envelope of solid rock and ice. As he sent out the envelope, Diaro was ever so careful, only giving it the slightest nudge. After all, he didn't want his creation, the earth and mountains, to be damaged when the message arrived. Quinn watched the envelope fly towards us ever so slowly. She watched and watched, growing more and more impatient. She knew that Diaro wanted to be careful, but if this continued, the message would never arrive in time. Gwyn then remembered how Arkine could withstand her most powerful thunderstorms and fierce hurricanes. She was confident that we could receive a fast approaching message just as well. Without hesitation, Gwyn reached back and gave the envelope a massive blow, launching it toward us at high speed. Oh my gosh. It is thanks to her confidence and our resilience that Arkine received the message of the sky in time. Wow. And there you go. That's... I like their lore. It's super cool. It's fun to write lore. It's one of my yep. favorite parts of writing. Here we are again. So, should we start another dungeon now? 
Well, it's a bit late, isn't it? I'm afraid I have to log out soon. Please, save for me. I don't think it has a dungeon fits in. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Before we log off, we should drop by the headquarters and say hello to Lynn and the others. Just let them know that Leah is back again and ready for action. Oh, that's a good idea. Hmm. Mm. That car let's not wait too long then. I'm not sure how much longer they'll be online. Yeah, off we go. Off we go. So the first That's thing. A good idea. So now we pretty much need to begin a whirlwind tour of the jungle, jungle and collect <laughs> all the chests that we can because there are 66 of them. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm actually kind of worried how I'm going to fit them into the description. <laughs> um, Goodness. But for now, you want to go to the middle. Maybe you can extend it in like a pinned comment or something. Uh, actually, let me go back here first. Because <laughs> you can do that. You, know, you can change um, Yeah, that's a possibility. So. Uh, yeah, it's through this room. Nor those. It's this little guy right here. Mm -hmm. So we need to... Uh, uh, you have to mark step out here. like so. Oh, right. I'm doing the wrong thing there. So, to get this chest, we'll do some chest marking, yes. But to get this chest, we need to basically use that platform to get up here. And that's chest one. And then chest two is from the middle. I really should have just gone ahead and done this. Um, it is up here. So... So that covers that. We're just going to go right back. That is, um, yeah, that's all the chest in here. Uh, let's start from, why not? Ah, oh, finally outside. It's just way too gloomy in those dungeons. I agree. All right, so I'm going to do my best to remember where everything is. <laughs> Good luck, There Dobby. is a lot of stuff. It's it's true. Many of that. I suppose this plant's supposed to be inspired by a Venus Twitter. If I remembered, I wanted to actually put all these guys on here oh. so that I would remember what I'm needing to do. I don't actually need to defeat those guys. Oh, They're there. obviously way more hostile. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Obviously. Venus Twitter's are attacked um. people. Chest here. All right. And then I also want to clean up that chest first. So to get there, we're going to go south. Hey, you know what I wonder? Are they going to make um, sheet music for this? Uh, that's a good question. I wonder if someone will work on that, yeah. Uh, where is my way up? Oh, here, cool. It's right there. I love learning the chords or something else. Not a very talented, um... All right. Classical yeah, come here. finger picking. Whoa! Come here, you're annoying. There's the cat, right? This place really is filled with those purple kitties. <laughs> I like purple kitties. Damn, they show how fast you make them angry. Fast, angry, the purple kitties. Kitten is angry. So... 
There's a chest there. to take this exit onto this screen. And come around through this side. So this allows us to enter this little maze. Again, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Pretty strange for me. Alright, I need to uh, have some work. And then we can't go down that way anymore, so we need to actually get over here. Mm, dang puzzles. Yeah, dang puzzles. Make it big, it's hard. Let's see, how can I easily get here? That is a nice piece of equipment, so that's one of the first things that you should think about picking up there. I think I'm going to throw that on you. We're definitely uh, starting to show our age on this. Show our age? Um, in terms of our equipment, it's starting to really get out of date, so... Yeah, we need to upgrade that. We need to upgrade it. Papa guns. Alright, you're on my list. Parrots, they're among the most intelligent birds we know. Mm -hmm. All I could come up with is another dumb gun wielding foe. <laughs> uh, yeah, plenty of jellerics to deal with. Yeah, these guys. Nope, got nothing. No scientific facts about blobs from me. <laughs> they aren't exactly real, fortunately. Yeah. So, I know we looked up here another disgusting fact about them. <laughs> you gotta have blobs. It could be from the punch. Maybe a little nasty. Yeah, I really love their face attacks. What are we doing it's here? Fine. So we want to go around this corner here. They have fun flavor. Yes, they do. Uh, so we're going to come up around this end first. It rains in the jungle. Okay. Easy enough. Some people argue that algae is the slime of real life, but it's still a stretch. <laughs> I certainly like the bounciness of the bobs. Yeah, they're just kind of gross. I mean, please, no science facts about algae, Murphy. Hi. She's just like, eh, gross, okay. Fair. Uh, no, I think I just we'll wait on those dollars. guys since I have a holler, we don't have a kill quest that. for them, and I'm just trying to move on. So much stuff to do. I know. That's me in real life, too, man. My schedule is just overwhelming me right now. Um. Those are all dealt with. Yeah. Where's my path through here? Oh, that's right. We 
we've got this right here. There we are. That opens that up. And that opens that up. And now we've got everything open. This side. Uh, that's right, we can't quite do that yet. We have to go around up here first. So we need to jump down here. Oops, messed that up. Of course I did. This way. And I feel like this quest will be a little long, so let's save it. There is a cave right up here that leads to a quest. But I'm gonna I'm gonna postpone that till next time. Because I wanna make There's a just a lot going on in this area. There is a lot going on. Did I really do that? Oh man. Oh I I got up here, and then I forgot that I actually was in the right place down here, no. and I needed to be over here first. Yeah. Die, potato. Meep. Oh, hi, cat. Did I wake you up? <laughs> With one potato joke. Yeah. Our cats are super cute. Yeah, hit that switch. Couldn't see it behind the uh, quest marker. And then cross here again. Parrots holding bazookas. And that sounds almost as insane as card games on motorcycles. <laughs> and then you can come down through here. Open this way. And come down along this side. Here. Whee! Blobules. Blobules and parrots and really big colorful flowers. Oh, is there anything else I need to collect up here first? Oh, that's, yeah, this whole area is a little inconvenient sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Because why? Oh, because it's just so Shells? sprawly. Oh, it's sprawly. Raleigh, That's Raleigh. right. You need to come over here. And then we can get that. You're so sweet and healthy and So there's this chest. Man, the rain really picks up and just goes away out here. Well, yeah, it's it's keyed to the area that you're located at. It's the way of the jungle. Yeah, so... Wherever you happen to be standing, that's, it. you know, you enter a zone where there's rain versus a zone where there's not. Nice. Oh, kitty. Yeah. Mm. My goodness. See, when somebody wakes up from her nap, mm. she just always demands cuddles. Like, she, when she wakes up hardcore, she's just like, pet me and love. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm spacing out is what I'm doing. Why? Um, probably because, I don't know, I'm paying attention to you, oh, petting a cat. So Engage me in the game. Engage me in what I'm doing in the game now. <laughs> I was! I thought I was. Oh, it's okay. I'm just... I'm, I'm thinking about time because there's like so much to do in this jungle and... I'm trying to fit it all in, and I don't know if I can. I know, you need to, like... I might, I might need another episode just to... Wow. ...clean up the jungle. Gaia's Garden 1. Yeah. I'm gonna do what I can. Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get half of it, and I'll try to do the other half next time. You should call this lamp sh Gaia's Lampshade. Uh, this episode, another one should be Something's Garden. 
That's right. Go down here. I don't know. How can I help you organize your thoughts? Or um, I, really? I don't know. I'm just trying to keep it all straight. Can you write down something? No. Well, no, that's not going to help right now. Um. I don't really know what you're looking for. Uh, what am I looking for? The landmarks. Do we need two more? Yeah. Is that one important? I don't think that one is important. Yeah. I love how the plants move when you run into them too. That's just great. Cute game physics. Yep. I'm glad the slimes are docile. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. Up on this side, we can enable that first okay. and foremost, and then um, we can come over here. I'm gonna point this Ooh, out right now. Whoa, There's a secret whoa. back here. Weird forest. Uh -oh. We can't do anything with this yet. Well, we can. You know, there are strange markings on the tablet. In the middle are multiple buttons that resemble arrows and letters. Do you want to press some of them? Hey. You know, if you're a if you're a video up, game nerd, down, up, down, left, right. You hey, probably know what to do here. <laughs> but we're gonna leave it for now because we wouldn't be able to make progress in there anyway without shock. Uh. uh yeah, you're not really supposed to be doing that yet. Come on, oh, lampshaded. <laughs> <laughs> but just to remind you that it's up there. <laughs> Maybe that. I really love how they did all the graphics. Like, yeah, that's a place where I'd definitely dive into the water when I could. Oh, I know. Sure, jungle rivers are incredibly active ecosystems. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> And all kind of stuff in there, including bugs. Lots of bugs. Stop it, Blue! Why do you have to destroy my fantasies? <laughs> Water is deadly, Emily. Deadly and probably not real. Oh no, Foilhead 20 is back. <laughs> Foilhead. So we got... How can you get a foil to have to fit over his spiky hair? That's a good question. So, yeah. Making our way through this stuff. Let's do this quest, though. <laughs> Hi! Ah, oh, hello! Oh, I can't see through your arm, sorry. Hi, mm. oh, hello! Are, are you that secret that was sent to help me? Hmm. Oh, I'm so excited! Your secrets are so cool and I've never worked with one! Leah! Ah, oh, I'm sorry! I should concentrate on the work. Mm. Sorry, important work! With the help of a cool secret, yes, yes! I will use my tools here to examine the water on different spots here in the area. Hmm? Gonna check for pollution and radiation and take those samples we need. Meanwhile, you'll have to protect me from the angry denizens if that might appear. Angry denizens. That no no uh, don't worry, all of this has been submitted and corrected. Angry denizens that might appear. Hmm? Yes, it's such a shame that we have to hurt them, but we've got no choice here. Hmm. At least our dead bodies will return to the track and feed new life, so it's okay. <sighs> anyway, I'll prepare myself. Talk to me again when you're ready to go. <laughs> All right, let's She's do it. weird. Hey there, Seeker. Are you ready to escort me around? Yes. Mm. All right, just let me prepare myself real quick. So yes, this is an escort quest. Good. I'll mark the first spot I have to investigate. But dun, dun, dun. more than that, it's really just a combat quest. All set. We can start now. Please protect me against angry critters, yes? Mm. All right, let's do this. I like how she's like, yeah, but if we kill them, it doesn't really matter because they're just gonna go back to the earth anyway. It's like, all right. Here, boy, here something. Exclamation for an exclamation yeah, it's, exclamation. it's going after her. Oh. So that's what's happening with those. Okay, 
Yep. All finished. On to the next one. That's pretty useful. More critters approaching. More data. Stay back with these and, and let my really talented party it's handle. Is that like a land anglerfish? Yeah, it's like a, an anglerfish. Good job so far, just one more shot left. Whoa, I'm going to go over I'm coming, we must be really angry today. But it was the last one. We almost got it, Seeker. No, she, she, I can't hurt her. Okay. So I don't need to worry about that. Somebody want to get yourself into the water. Ooh, jeez. Uh... You get yourself some tea or a sandwich or something. You need to just drink some tea. It's super effective. See in there, Wilson? Oh boy, I'm just fish. I'm going to focus on my work with all this going on around here. Ah! Danger! What? Oh, did no, she get hit? No, something got hit and it said danger! Oh, yeah, you probably... I mean, I'm guessing she's okay now, but... At least she's not the cold part. Alright. All set. Yeah, so okay. that's not really that hard, it's quest. just a little... Just a little long. Okay, I got all the data we need for now. Great job, Seeker! I would love to chat a bit more with you, but I gotta bring the samples back to the HQ before more angry critters appear. So this is goodbye for now. Thanks again for everything. Good luck on your adventures. Bye. Neat. Nice. Yes, indeed. Why do we go back to Henry? Um, well, we're not really ready to go back to Henry yet. We don't have all the landmarks. We haven't mm -hmm. found his probe yet. We haven't. Oh yeah, I forgot we're going to Done look all for the his things. Probe. So we've got we've got a lot of different things to do. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm gonna keep that up for now, even though we're kind of on the wrong side of the uh, gardens for show cats. Uh, but we're gonna use this opportunity to come down over here. Did I do this right? No. Yeah. So come down this way. What? Oh. Portal. Yeah, hit the wrong button. There we go. Why are you trying to shoot it? So we got that down there. Cool. And so we've cleared out this area. We made that loop there. We should have gotten everything in there. So we're going to go down on this side. Um, don't need to spend time fighting stuff. This lang a land anglerfish. A langlerfish? Yep. Eh, it doesn't sound as good as you yep. want it to. Uh I forget what they're called. There's something up here. BRB. Okay. Sorry. Alright. This chest.
there anything up here? No, this is just another way to get up here. Yeah, this is just another way to get up here. Something poked a hole, I think, from hmm. the supermarket. They poked off, like, this hole was jabbed into my ice cream. Oh, that's not good. Um, I just scooped out the part that looked like it got hit, so... Yeah, weird. Um, hopefully, it's safe to eat. Hopefully. Okay. Can you come up here? This is where the probe is. And then we have a couple of fun bounce pads that we can take advantage of, like so, oops. There we go. So we get up there. In here, there is a chest. So come back for this later. Um, and meanwhile, take the opportunity to hop around inside of here, grab the probe. Um, and follow this little path along the side. Yes, I do. Important question. Sure. I really love what the bridge is made out of. Bouncing. Eh. Like lily pads? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I believe. Let me go up the top first. Sounds right. Hit that guy up there. I think I'm going to have to do an offline playthrough and make sure that I've gotten everything, because there's oh, just wow. so much to collect in here. Like, I'm at 17, 18 of 66 now. Mm -hmm. We're doing it, but yeah, this is going to take multiple playthroughs to collect. Oh, That's just how it is. Let me come down here. Across there. And then 
I'm going to come down on this side to get where I need to be. can't come from that direction. Um, I need to be over there to activate that. So much water, as expected for a jungle. <laughs> as you well know, there's a lot of water in jungles. I don't know why that amazed him so much. He just <laughs> always talks about the water around here. Yeah, water seems to fascinate him. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So, we can come down here. I mean, I like water, but I'm going to go way up him. along this path. That's how we get to that switch. Not through that. And then this side over here. I'm just going to mark this gold chest up here. Because there's a path to get to it, but there's a path to get to it, and it's gold, so we can't pick it up yet. We'll get that next time. Uh, we have that up there. Oops. Around here again. All the little hidden paths and nooks. Mm -hmm. Falling in the water. I'm falling in the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unlock that. takes us into Overgrown Path. We've almost made a half a circuit of the jungle. Alright. So this is a timing puzzle. First we need to get up here. And then... on your mind. That's on my mind? Yep. Well, I'm tired. I wish I wasn't. Yeah. Well, we're probably going to stop pretty soon. It's a really pretty area. It is a really pretty area. Yeah, the jungle is probably one of my favorite areas, although I like oh, really? so many of them that mm -hmm. it's hard to, like, say... So many favorites. Yeah, so many favorites. Um, it really is nice. You're saying this is the, the, the biggest area in the game? Uh, or no? Yes, this okay. is easily the biggest area in the game. I think we Which have to come from over here first. I never feel like I have very much to add, and all I'm doing is running around punching things. Well, you know, we can talk about whatever. I don't know. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Um... You know, what do you like about this game? What do you like about this area? Uh, what, uh... I like how green it is. <laughs> I like the combination of like the lime green 
and the deep magenta flowers, I think. Yeah. And the pretty teal water. Well, it's not teal, but you know, it's not just straight blue. It's really inviting. All my things are going to be very aesthetic. I'm really not a whole... I realize the longer I watch you play games, yeah. that I'm not very much of a gamer. Because you're like, ooh, I have tactics and plans, and I'm like... Yeah. I'm glad you do, because I wouldn't know where to start, and... You know, I get easily frustrated when it comes to playing games. But, you know... Yeah. It's true. But I love their, their boss designs really clever. Alright. For a lot of this case, we're actually going to have to come from the other side to get things unlocked. Uh, wow. Like, you need to be up high and you need to kind of unlock the path as you move along it. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be easiest for us to make a sweep from the top again down the other side. Of what? Of the jungle. But, while we're up, while we're down here, let's grab these last couple things on this side. Curly Fern, is that in the Curly Fern? Uh, sort of. So this is another timed uh, switch. You need to hit that. And then run across here as quickly as you can. Through there. And then we're just going to run all the way back. We're going to do from the side again. Because there's one more chest right up in here. Mm -hmm. Right on top of that. We can get this now, too. Mm -hmm. Which is worthwhile. Let's trade for that. Put it on. Twitching slicer. Yep, twitching slicer. There's a lot of really weird, funny, interesting names of things. Sorry. I'm sorry. Ouch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, so that's those chests, and then we're gonna wrap up in Tau, I think. So head on back up to town, and before you enter it, make sure you find this little hopping path right here. Not a regular bridge. Oh. Notice there's not a single laser bridge in the whole jungle. Maybe they're hard to maintain due to the climate and vegetation. Excuses. I know it's a real world, but, you know. So we're going to come into town, and we need to turn mm -hmm. in this quest. quest this is the quest that we did for that, uh, that refined looking black gentleman. Oh, this guy! Oh, yeah. yeah. This guy's cool. Hi! Ah, great. Welcome back, Seeker. We are to receive the water samples and start the examination. The data has been daily missing. Now we can finally get back on track with our work. Hmm. Well, it'll take some time before we have usable information. Maybe we'll need your help again, Noble Seeker. Hmm. But for now, please take this reward. May the ancients bless you. Her face, she thinks she's pretty cool too. Yeah, sure thing. Oh, look at his little chibi. <laughs> it's so cute. Nice. He's the coolest little chibi ever. Alright. Um, and what are we doing on the jungle here? You've got 26. That's actually pretty good for, uh, for a run that covered most of this side. So we'll pick up this side of the jungle. Next time, we'll also be doing the Wave Temple next time. Wave Temple! Um, and we're going to make sure... shooting people that are just waving at you all the time? <laughs> it's <laughs> weird water-based stuff. But we're going to be getting the shock element out of it. Before we wrap up, we really want to run back inside here. Oh, 
And, uh, say hi to our friends. One here, they're probably upstairs. Upstairs. Bonjour, everyone, look who's back again! Hi. Leah, dear! It's good to see you again after all this time. Our little runaway has returned. Hi. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. We've been very worried about you. It's been so long. I'm sorry. Dear, what exactly happened to you back then? Well, we couldn't really figure out the details, but it's clear that none of it was Leah's intention. Why, of course not. There was, any doubt of, there was never any doubt about that. Mm -hmm. Well, there really wasn't. I was just stubborn. I'm sorry, Leah. All right, Emily, we've all been rather bummed about the raid. But I'm sure another opportunity will come up soon enough. So that's all well and great, but one major question remains. What about the hugging of Lucas? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry. What happened? That was kind of an anime... Snap. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Did she oh. smack her or did she just... No, she just immediately sat in the corner. <laughs> I'm joking, just joking. Why make a big deal out of it? Maybe she just likes to hug people. <laughs> you really need to come out of nowhere, though. Man, I wish I could have seen that. Hmm. I'd rather like to know how the whole situation was even possible to begin with. Mm. They are being online with no way to contact her. Mm. Especially over such a long time. Mm. Yeah, it is really strange. You know what? You should talk to Ivan about this. Please, that's not how it works. <laughs> why would he be, Why would he care about individual user issues like this? Mm -hmm. All games have them. It's not relevant for the bigger picture. Yeah, yeah. As long as the profits are flowing, the big shot shareholder's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, this is why I would never introduce you to him. Well, sorry, but I have to log out now. I'll be back tomorrow so we can continue our dungeon race then. Wait, oui, same for me. See you again tomorrow. Bye. A little jump. Hmm. Is that old name, Ivan? Is that new? No. Oh. Bye. Who is he talking about? Sorry? Huh? Oh, yes, of course. Until tomorrow, dear. <laughs> I want to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Log me out. Dream time. Good day, Leah. It is nice to finally meet you in person. Gotham, please be careful when interacting with manifestations of instant matter. Mm-hmm. The risks are supposed to be low, but accidents can't happen. You don't have to tell me. Well, it is certainly exciting to walk in the world you helped create. The synth's transmission of the cross gear is very accurate, but it still can't match the real thing. I suppose. Still, I'm worried about you. Are you sure you'll be fine? I'll just have to cope with it. It was all a part of the agreement, no? Hmm. What was? Hmm. I, I never expected things to go this way. To be asked to do such things. Mm -hmm. This is not game design anymore. This is not for the right experience. This is wrong. Well, I, I'm sorry. I mustn't tell you anymore. Is he too confided in Leo? Seems like. Oh, man. I don't think I've ever seen any of those. One of those is new. Okay. Good morning, Leah. Hmm? Hi! Anything new that- Wait! Oh, so you remembered something? Mm. About a location? Mm -mm. Uh, about a person? Mm. I see. How about you tell me by number this time? One, Satoshi. Two, Shizuka. Three, Gotham. Four, anybody else? Mm. Gotham. What did you remember about him? <sighs> Anything hinting to where Satoshi could be located? Mm -mm. What else could there be? Sorry. Hmm. Anything particular about Gotham? Actually, there was something that struck me back when we saw him in Vermilion Wasteland. Gotham, he didn't look like he was an avatar. He was the spitting image of how I remember him from real life. Wait! Oh, was it that you saw? 
So Gotham, he is indeed not an avatar. He himself lo is located right in the playground. Mm. This, this is insane. Why would he even be here? Oh. Huh? Bonjour, Leo. Good morning. Hi. You'll find me online. Tony and I've been waiting for you. We should continue our dungeon race, no? Mm. Great. I have plenty of time today. Maybe we even complete all the dungeons in Gaze Garden? Gaze Garden? Uh, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> so let's start the party and keep going. Hmm. Well, no time to waste. Not much further to finally reach Sapphire Ridge. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's start there. We may need an extra cleanup episode in here. It'll probably be a shorter one, but we're going to try to get everything to fit. Okay. Just a lot of content. Yep. A lot of good Huge content. Huge game. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it, and we'll yeah. see you next time.